Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's just like a pig or a velociraptor. That's those are better things. It honestly does vaguely sound like an angry like hog is being chained up somewhere and just making horrible noises. But I am tired of hearing it. I don't want to be down here anymore. Oh, flashy light that makes silhouettes happen? That means there's going to be a werewolf silhouette. That's the only reason you even have lights in a horror game. Or not, somehow? Apparently. I think I'm in trouble right now. Let's use one of these, I guess. How many do I have, by the way? I can't tell. Synchrosy injected. Strain level decreased. Is that meter my number of secrecine pills, maybe? Oh, that's probably what the green meter is. Okay. Like, it lacks... It's not an actual number, so I wasn't clear. At all. There it is. Just as we expected. Wait, was that actually the sound of a pig? It sounded like it was actually the sound of a pig. Going ray. I mean, that's the only way I can go. What the fuck? That wasn't an open path a second ago, was it? That is a pig. Is this going to turn out to just be my crazy... Wait, is this me hallucinating? Is it really a pig, like I guessed? Like someone's just keeping a pig chained up? That would explain why they casually refer to the noise as just being a thing that's around. Because I'm like, you just casually put up with there being a nightmare werewolf thing around? Case log updated. Let's do that hacking. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. What? Really? 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 Just a number that ends in one. So we've successfully hacked a door one time ever. <laughs> Great. Some number that ends with one. I can't think of if I've seen a number recently. Okay. Can I go through here? No? Which way do I dare try? Okay, now the werewolf noises have gone away. Which I could take as a good sign that I'm actually safe. Or I could take it as a sign that, uh... They're lulling me to a false sense of security so they can attack me with the werewolf in silence. And a jump scare. Just you? Oh, hey look! This time they're not attacking the unemployed family. Or somebody else. There's a... It's one of those, uh... Those symbols again. Quarantine, that's the thing, word I'm thinking of. Interesting how many games I play have the word quarantine come up. This looks like you're supposed to write a... Draw a, uh, ch a rectangle and chalk and a door opens. Never stray from the path, she said. But I keep doing that. Because I always check every side path, even hey, when I'm... Anyone out there? Told not to. Help me, please! Where are you? What's wrong? What's going on in there? Oh, thank God. Please. I'm trapped in here. Okay, sir. Can you tell me exactly what's going on? I woke up stuck to this contraption. There was a tube down my throat. I barely managed to pull it out. Okay. Well, take a look around the room and tell me what you see. I can't see anything. There's something on my head. 
Oh, God, help me! Let's try this. The thing on your head, can you take it off? I... I'm not sure. I, I could barely lift my arms. God damn it, what have they done to me? Sir, listen to me. I want you to park your elbows on the chair, lower your head, and pull backwards. Uh, 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 thanks. I got it off. It's uh, it's some kind of helmet. There's cables everywhere. There's a logo. Some kind of face with wings. The Morpheus VR series. Huh? The what? Hey, hey! Answer me! As captain of the Endeavor, a representative of the United Earth Initiative, I demand to know what's going on here! Oh god. So first of all, he's been kidnapped by Sony and being forced to test out their new Morpheus VR headset. Second of all, he's been con he's essentially... Like, like the Rick and Morty thing, he's lived an entire f fake life inside of a video game. And now he thinks that that was all thing. So the question is here is like, do I tell him it's all in his head or do I try to play along? All right, Captain, sir. I will notify the initiative of your little snafu. Thank you. I don't know who you are, but the UEI will not forget this. Poor schmuck. Reality is catching up with you. What was that? I said... I'm sure your crew will catch up with you. Well, just like always, we can't get in, right? Yep. He's really on his own. Is this where I get killed for diverging from the path? Because she warned me not to? Don't have a lot of reason to expect that I really have a reason to listen to her, though. Ah, great. Here's where I choose to just assume that was still a pig. Music. You're gonna shut up now. Before I die horribly. Ah, why can't you shut up, piggy? I don't like listening to you. Looks like a bunch of gas containers, or fluid containers at least. Could be water. Well, that's annoying. It keeps triggering when I walk by. Asshole radio. Ah, exit sign. Bet you don't work. Just in case. Oftentimes when you touch things like that, a level like ends. Or a bad thing happens. Often triggers a monster and stuff. In horror games. So let's maybe check here first. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. You... you shouldn't be here. Why would you say that, ma'am? No, he'll see you. He doesn't like me talking to other men. Does he have a name? Please, just... just go away. He'll get mad if he hears us. Has he mistreated you in any way? Has he hurt you at all? You know, if we need to, we can take care of him right now. No! He's just... overly protective. I... I miss first, you know? Oh, oh god. Oh god, god, I shouldn't have told you that! You don't sound fine. Is this man home now? He's always home. He, he's in the walls! Please, just go! Or we'll both be in trouble. Ma'am, I really don't want to leave you like this. It's alright. I am 
where I want to be. Wonderful. Aren't we having a mad fucking tea party? Well, I got an achievement KPD open up. I wonder if that means I've found every single door or something. Uh, he's inside the walls. It almost suggests that it's like, like it sounds like spousal abuse, but it also sounds like the person that's abusing her is fictional. <laughs> Little unclear there. Can you climb up through this? Come on, climb through. Ah, great. Probably not gonna work, is it? What? A. One. Two. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not, not, not much is gonna stop me at that point. That's not good. Oh, cool, I'm locked here now. We just had what seems like a reality break. That's the way upstairs, what's over here? I think, yeah, I recognize this door from the other- I think I was on the other side before, wasn't I? Are you also way upstairs? I think we're having memory- oh yeah, look at the setting look change. I think we're having memories about my character's wife. I think that's where we're at right now. Hey you. Come over here. Looping hallway? Maybe? No doorknobs on the walls. Uh, I'm in on the doors. Yeah, this isn't working. So dare I go backwards and see if that goes somewhere? Oh, hey. KPD, state your business. Your well-being. Jack shit. Yes. And no. What do you think? What's this about? Why, you, of course. It's always about you, isn't it? Don't fuck with me. That's not why I'm here. It's time to move on. Wow, that's more options we ever than we ever get. Don't make me get the enchanted membrane. I smell like daffodils on a corpse. Ugly fairies don't make dreams come true. The floor is one dragon above you. These are mostly like nonsense responses, aren't they? I'm feeling obnoxious. What is it, dear? The macabre. Yes. I have the right to remain silent. Anything I say can and will be used against me in court of law. Uh-huh. I have the right to an attorney. Do I understand my rights? Fuck yeah. Let's skip this part, okay? Okay. I'm losing control. Try not to think about me. You were good. Good at talking out of my ass. Don't leave me. You were my man. This intercom is offline. Please contact the building manager. 
Welp. I feel like I want that to be online. Where do I go from here? So we're, we're talking to our dead spouse now. In case things weren't weird enough yet. Oh. And we transition right back to the real world, it looks like. What the hell? I need to find whoever owns that tattoo parlor. Alright, so this is the stairwell. We've been here before. Right, because we came through here. This is the downstairs area I saw, and I'm like, nope. When I first got in there, I'm like, let's, let's not go down there. This is where janitor should be, I think. Yeah, this should be the janitor's room. Chiron News. Oh, can't read that. Okay, so our goal is to figure out who owns the tattoo shop. Also, if I can find another code, I don't think I remember another code, but if I find another code, I can go back down there and probably open up that spot. What's our current leads? Finding out, and whoever owns the, owns the tattoo place is currently involved in this mess. Someone has to know if he lives around here. We have multiple cases open. So finding the tattoo parlor owner it all all goes into the issue of finding Adam, which seems to be our primary goal. The nosy neighbors find the owner of basement unit 28. The noisy basement compartment is locked. No way to get in without a code. Maybe I should check who the owner is of unit 120 of unit 28. Okay, those might both be doable in here actually. Investigate. Number. Yeah, one of the numbers in the stash is 209. Have I been to 209 yet? So Amir's clients are in one, are in 112 and 209. So lots of things to investigate. He just gone again? Was it was it here that I did this? Let's see. Yeah. 209 John Prakowski. That's still flashing. 112, Sonder Phillip. Ground floor. Right. Let's remind myself. The basement detail again. What was the basement detail? Unit Unit 28. Check who the owner is of Unit 28. Okay. Twenty-eight is apartment two oh five. Let's prioritize that then. So on second floor, two oh five is Oscar Maderski. Uh, It'd be too tough to find that, I think. Okay, that was a weird one. Just getting weird flashes now. Was that my voice? I think it was. Let's see, did I explore this floor already? Don't think I did, did I? I think I only did the, the I think I did ground in first, I don't think I did second floor yet. Dan Lazarski, KPD. Just need to ask you a few questions. You have reached the Rozak residence. How can I help you? Residence? Not a word I wouldn't use for a place like this. I apologize. The phrase was chosen by my master. If you find it unsatisfactory, I will not use it again in your presence. Are you the butler? But? Now? No. My master is not at home. Hmm. Later, maybe? <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> yes, very funny. So this master of yours? Yes, Master Rosak. Master Rosak? Uh, I take it he's not in there. He is not. I can take messages. You always call him master? I always call him master. And is he a good master? I'm not sure I understand. Could you restate the question? Is he involved in any criminal activity? I do not possess such knowledge. You're not a bot, are you? Yes, Femcom 6.0. A sex bot. Whoopee. That is an acceptable colloquialism. If Master Rossack isn't home, why didn't he turn you off? I was deactivated following the afternoon session. My CPU rebooted spontaneously five hours and 43 seconds later. The lockdown must have interfered with your power slot. Okay. I'd say goodbye, but I guess there's no point. Yeah. Because that would humanize me. What did you say? Please feel free to use me. What the fuck? That was intensely creepy. <laughs> That was that was a lot like watching the the show that I quite like, which was called Humans. Which was a show about not humans, that's a show about robots. While everybody else is watching Westworld, I was watching humans and nobody else wanted to watch humans. Ah! Go away. Don't murder me, please. Could you please not murder me? It's like the number one thing I don't want you to do. Okay. That'd be a fun practical joke, though, to, uh... If you have- if you were able to approximate a human AI, and you make it as far as, uh... Making it seem super real, but, like... It's- it's always... Satisfyingly, convincingly off-kilter and not real-sounding. And then you get little moments of, like, humanity shine through. But, of course, they're just pre-programmed phrases just to screw with people. Like, that'd be really amusing, actually. Actually, that, which is basically probably why people like making AI in their video games. Yes, I am robot. And then they're, then they're like, when I die, will I dream? I'm like, what? No, I thought you just were like butler bot. This is, ah. Uh. Hello. 213. A little obnoxious to bring the music and stuff outside. Are you trying to use your room as a nightclub? Is that what you're going for? KPD, I need to talk to you. Shit, are you for real, man? Since when do you pigs give a shit about what goes down in the stacks? Since now, should I take a special interest in you? Hey, man, chill. It's just, most cops don't have the balls to come down here alone. What you need? Sounds like you know your way around. Anything weird go down lately? Don't be knocking on doors around here with questions like that. Are you threatening me? No, man. I'm just looking out for you. There's some messed up customers living here. Ain't that the truth? Did I just click on that and then the music got louder? Because I think the music got louder, like... That's their response to somebody ringing the bell, is just to make the music louder. Oh hey, the butler's down there. I wonder if I should try to... ...meet him down there. Maybe wait for- Oh! Because one of my quests is, like, the main mission is to try to find out who owns the tattoo parlor. So if I go towards the tattoo parlor... I would then see him on the way there, and he'd probably give me some kind of leader information. I'm gonna explore- I'm gonna explore more of the second floor, though, more... instead. Cool views, though. This is a really cool view. 
If it wasn't a symbol of horrible economic strife and suffering, it'd be pretty. In a weird sort of way. Even that down there is like not... It's not like particularly sludgy and gross besides the tons and tons of pigeons that you know are shitting everywhere. It's just wet and concrete, which is fine, I suppose. There's a lot of pleasant colors and shapes that make it actually a surprisingly neat lo looking view. Which way should I go first? Oh. Back to a staircase. Not the, but a. I've looped back around that way. So we're, we're reaching the central staircase. I've explored the top part. From here, I can either choose to go to the bottom part or go back to the east wing. Okay, so this goes south. Getting some noises. Was it just me bumping into something? Oh, it's that. That's what the sound was. Okay. Now I know it goes bump in the night. Are those computers inside of a water tank? Sure seems like it. Unless it's just like a weird... ...layer in the middle that looks like it's water and bubbles. Rude. Uh, hi. Loyal android force protecting us, and you. They all look the same, and they're just human looking enough to make it very creepy. Don't worry, there's no murder in their eyes. We probed it, we got it out in the last patch. Ah. Uh... Hello, Rose. A real deal. Why leave it here? I'm gonna be honest, I've forgotten which rooms I was looking for, but that's fine. I'll either find what I need to find by checking every room, because I want to explore anyway, or I'll just double-check afterwards. That's an interesting detail. Plant life form. Critically endangered species. Proceed with extreme caution. Um, I mean, it's not gonna come back- I mean, it's, it's not- It's not gonna be alive anymore soon. It's already been picked, so... Opportunity lost at that point, sorry. 